What's up, smart people on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, this is what I do every day. I break down the stocks that I'm looking at for today and how I traded them. So I'm just taking a look real quick at Apple here, looking at the uh, the daily chart, the one year, one day chart. Each one of these candlesticks here is one day, and I see uh, Apple's making a nice pattern here. It could break out potentially here pretty soon it could even continue and then eventually break out to the down or upside but it's looking like it's forming a pattern here so we're going to keep an eye on that over the next couple weeks and try to remember this all right so let's look at the trades i did today you know i had a uh, nice green day today overall profit 42 dollars it's all right. It's all right. Definitely missed the bigger moves and uh, missed out on some money. So I'm gonna break that down. But if this is your first time viewing the channel. This is just the average guy, although I'm anything but average. And this is what I do every morning: just breaking down the stocks that I trade in, hoping to build up my small account and get out of my job. So subscribe to the channel if you want to follow the journey. But, all right, let's jump into it. Um, the trade that I did, the good trade that I did today, SNNA. Let's jump into that. Let's move this drawing here. Man, I should have been watching SNNA in the morning. I totally forgot about it. I don't know how, but forgot to watch it as my uh, little morning watch that I have where I have like three stocks that I watch. And SNNA just blew up out the gates. Nice 80% gain, man. Man, I at least could have got 40%. At least half. I see myself selling right there. But, um, yeah. Nice move. Missed all that. So I waited on the dip here. SNNA decided to dip down here. The seventh day RSI, you can see. It hit 25 on the min line. Got in here right after the doji at 29 cents. And it made a little move. I didn't wait for the, the other bigger move up. You see here at 29 cents. And I sold right here. 32 cents right here. Yep. I think it was 31 something. Let me look. Okay, so I actually sold right here. 11.15. 31 cents, 0.319. It's pretty much 32 cents. Close a little gain there. It's pretty much where I got all the profit there. And SNNA trying to move higher. It's doing a little move here. But might make a good move uh, at the uh, power hour. Definitely might make a good move. Might have to uh, watch that. All right, and then look at VIVE. I decided to take a jump at this. Don't know why, but I did. After missing all of this, this is a nice green. Seems like a nice pump in dumper. Good 15% gain there, but uh, I tried here at the dip here, the seven day RSI. The K was buried. Got in there at uh, let's see. Alright, so yeah, I got in here at 552. Right here in the middle of the dab of this ki of this candle. And uh, ended up selling here at a loss. Only got 200 shares. So sold at a loss at 543. Not too bad, not too bad. Less than a 2% loss, so I'm happy with that good and before the big plunge I mean right after I sold it plunged down a whole three percent so good trigger on the finger I tried it out was a bad call wasn't the right stock to try it out on so uh, you know just got to take notice notice these pump and dump moves here where it just goes up all these green bars and doesn't even continue up just straight dumps out just got to notice them and Realize to stay away from them. Pick good probability setups. SNNA was a really good setup. So 
like that trade, how it worked out. Could have held on for the bigger move, but it's all right. But let's look at Spy today. And Spot is getting hammered as we speak, as I speak right now. So it is getting hammered. A uh, freaking squab, uh, street smart edge trading platform announced that they are no longer doing commissions for their trading. So you know TD Ameritrade is probably going to follow suit. Plus E Trade, so that is going to take a big hit to their revenue. I mean. These fees were everything. That's the main reason why I traded Robinhood, because those fees are everything. So let's see how that works out here. As it lost, let's see how much percentage loss it lost so far. Twenty-five percent, almost. Man, TD Mare Trade. Man, got hit hard there. So, uh, yeah, it seems like commission-free trading is gonna be uh, the new the new wave. So, you guys definitely need to start studying up on stocks, getting to learn them, and definitely a great way to uh, build up some money. It's gonna be uh, pretty interesting. But uh, alright you guys, I uh, hope you liked the videos, hit that like button if you did, subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this every day, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.